A lot of expats get in trouble with Filipinos because of Pinoy Pride. Pinoy Pride has varying degrees. Your customs official that you complain at for not doing something the way you would in wherever you come from, etc., they may deport you in can do. Those things hit the media like no tomorrow. They love deporting the bad expat. So be aware. Customs officials are generally okay. You'll get the odd one that's a pain, but they're only going to process your paperwork just grim and bare. It's only for 10 minutes or whatever. You don't have to pay anybody any bribes. Never seen anybody pay any bribes at the airport, so don't get involved in it. Next thing is I'm insulting a Filipino in front of others. They don't like it. Insulting a Filipino that worked for you in front of others. It's also bad practice in the West. So a lot of it is etiquette, but I do know that when you, when you have a bad mechanic that has done a lot of damage to your car or a bad builder, you can rant and they will just, you know, they won't be happy about it. Let's put it that way. Deal with it diplomatically. I always assume that works because then there's nothing to go wrong going forward. Um, like we the construction who went and got the tiles me why because I've sent people before and they haven't brought what I wanted so the best way of doing it is get myself uh, same with the adhesive for tiles they like to mix um, cement and leave it for three days or whatever I like to actually use tile adhesive <laughs> it doesn't save any money this is a bizarre thing because you actually waste time with the cement going off the adhesive is designed for it, it can go on a smaller skim, etc, etc. But you can change the way people have been doing it for the last 50 years. I've tried. <laughs> but anyway, don't get into an argument about it. Um, my normal phrase is, I'm off to get a beer, which is normally a sign for my wife to fire the workers. <laughs> because there's no... There's no logic to this because what happens is you rant and rant and throw the guys out whatever the whole community then hears that you went off on one and started shouting and swearing and sacked the guys and they'll go we weren't doing anything wrong because that's exactly what they do <laughs> but if you um, do it diplomatically like when I was doing my tiling for the old um, internet calf I was tiling it in sections overnight but um, the cafe is still open during the day and people are coming in and saying how come these tiles are already down we can walk on them Matt did these last night why is it nobody here in this area knows how to do this you know diplomatically I showed them a better way um, I didn't argue with them I didn't and they still do it the other way anyway but the point is you have to deal with what you've got Arguing with Filipinos in public is a no-no. Bear in mind, people with status in the Philippines can also be very uh, risky people. Um, they didn't maintain that status without uh, some sacrifices, let's put it politely. Um, as such, they can be quite risky characters to get on the wrong side of, so be diplomatic with them. A lot of time, you will never see them. And most of the time, your engagement with them will be minimal. But be aware, you don't know who you're with. Um, Cadillac Cafe learned that lesson. When he threw out the... Um, what was he? The, it was the mayor's son. It was somebody to do a billiards, uh, billiards table. I, I heard it secondhand from somebody who was actually there. Uh, but basically threw the guy out in the street and it was the mayor's son. Um, he left the country by the following day. Um, it's not the first time I've heard that. There's another guy I know from the UK that had a car crash with the local mayor. I believe he was drunk at the time. That went the same way. Guy left the country within a few days. So bear in mind, consequence in the Philippines is quite severe. And okay, some of this pride stuff is uh, utter whatever you want to call it but you're not in your country you're in theirs as such whether you like it or not respect it 
because what I hear from a lot of expats is a lot of griping about people going to their country and not doing it by the rules in the country etc blah 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 oh you've got to be like this you know they should learn our language exactly so when you're in somebody else's country you should be setting the example simple as that thanks for watching